Hi there, welcome to this Alchemist Chemistry video looking at solubility terms. This video aims to be a useful lexicon of key solubility terms and words to help students understand all about solubility in general. Let's start off with the first term, soluble. A substance that will dissolve is described as being soluble. Next up, we have insoluble. A substance, a solid, that will not dissolve. That brings us neatly onto the next term, which is solute. These are solids that will dissolve when placed into suitable liquids known as solvents, and they will create transparent solutions. Solutions are mixtures of the solute dissolved into that suitable liquid, and they are transparent, which means they are see-through in nature. And so, of course, we also cover that term solvent. A solvent is a liquid used to dissolve a particular solute. Good example there would be water being a solvent and sugar being a solute, dissolving in the water. And that brings us on to the term solution, which we're going to look at in a bit more detail. A solution is a mixture of a solute that is fully dissolved into the suitable solvent. So a solution of sugar would be sugar that is fully and completely dissolved into the water so that none of the sugar is now visible as a solid anymore. It looks like a completely colorless liquid and that's our sugar solution. Let's now talk about a saturated solution. A saturated solution is one in which the maximum mass of a solute has been dissolved at a particular temperature. Now it's possible that if you raise the temperature you will be able to dissolve a greater mass of solute due to the increased kinetic energy of the particles involved. A good example here would be a cup of tea. Imagine you start shoveling spoonful after spoonful of sugar into your cup of tea, which is mainly boiled water, and you stir and dissolve the sugar. There will come a point where you will add an extra spoonful of sugar and it won't dissolve because you've reached the saturation point of the water that makes up the majority of your tea. And if you were to drink your tea, well, one, it would taste disgusting and overly sweet. But once you'd finished drinking your tea and you look back into your mug, you'd see a sludgy ring of sugar at the bottom of the mug. That's the excess sugar that was not able to dissolve beyond that saturation point of the boiling water you'd use to make your tea in the first place. The final term we're going to define today is solubility itself. And yes, solubility is how easily a solute dissolves in a particular solvent, but it has to be quantifiable. It has to be quantitative in nature. And the most common solvent we use is water. So therefore, if you want to measure solubility, we could measure the mass of a solute that dissolves in grams per 100 grams of water. There you have it guys, a concise list of some key solubility terms for you to use in the future for Key Stage 3 and GCC. To make this more useful, you could always create some flashcards or a vocab test. The best thing to do is to internalize this information and make it your own. If you found the video useful, please think about giving it a like, or you could subscribe to the channel to get access to all our other GCC and A-level chemistry content. Your support is always hugely appreciated and helps motivate me to keep making videos on a weekly basis. Last thing to say is take care. Bye now.